The Elephant Rope Belief Sometimes an inspiring story helps us find out the strength within us. An inspiring story helps you inspire yourself and motivate yourself. It also helps find out what you can do and what you cannot. There are hundreds you may have read in your life. But how many of them actually made changes in your mind is a question. Here are some inspiring short stories that not only gives a powerful lesson, but can also be helpful to learn about some unknown truths about life. A gentleman was walking through an elephant camp, and he spotted that the elephants weren't being kept in cages or held by the use of chains. All that was holding them back from escaping the camp was a small piece of rope tied to one of their legs. As the man gazed upon the elephants, he was completely confused as to why the elephants didn't just use their strength to break the rope and escape the camp. They could easily have done so, but instead, they didn't try to at all. Curious and wanting to know the answer, he asked a trainer nearby why the elephants were just standing there and never tried to escape. The trainer replied, When they are very young and much smaller we use the same size rope to tie them and, at that age, it's enough to hold them. As they grow up, they are conditioned to believe they cannot break away. They believe the rope can still hold them, so they never try to break free. The only reason that the elephants weren't breaking free and escaping from the camp was that over time they adopted the belief that it just wasn't possible. Moral, no matter how much the world tries to hold you back, always continue with the belief that what you want to achieve is possible. Believing you can become successful is the most important step in actually achieving it. The second story is about thinking out of the box, creative thinking. In a small Italian town, hundreds of years ago, a small business owner owed a large sum of money to a loan shark. The loan shark was a very old, unattractive-looking guy that just so happened to fancy the business owner's daughter. He decided to offer the businessman a deal that would completely wipe out the debt he owed him. However, the catch was that we would only wipe out the debt if he could marry the businessman's daughter. Needless to say, this proposal was met with a look of disgust. The loan shark said that he would place two pebbles into a bag— one white and one black. The daughter would then have to reach into the bag and pick out a pebble. If it was black, the debt would be white, but the loan shark would then marry her. If it was white, the debt would also be white, but the daughter wouldn't have to marry the loan shark. Standing on a pebble-strewn path in the businessman's garden, the loan shark bent over and picked up two pebbles. Whilst he was picking them up, the daughter noticed that he'd picked up two black pebbles and placed them both into the bag. He then asked the daughter to reach into the bag and pick one. The daughter naturally had three choices as to what she could have done. Refuse to pick a pebble from the bag. Take both pebbles out of the bag and expose the lone shark for cheating. Pick a pebble from the bag fully well knowing it was black and sacrifice herself for her father's freedom. She drew out a pebble from the bag, and before looking at it accidentally dropped it into the midst of the other pebbles. She said to the lone shark, Oh, how clumsy of me. Never mind, if you look into the bag for the one that is left, you will be able to tell which pebble I picked. The pebble left in the bag is obviously black, and seeing as the lone shark didn't want to be exposed, he had to play along as if the pebble the daughter dropped was white, and clear her father's debt. Moral, it's always possible to overcome a tough situation through out-of-the-box thinking, and not give in to the only options you think you have to pick from. The third story is about The Group of Frogs As a group of frogs was traveling through the woods, two of them fell into a deep pit. When the other frogs crowded around the pit and saw how deep it was, they told the two frogs that there was no hope left for them. However, the two frogs decided to ignore what the others were saying and they proceeded to try and jump out of the pit. Despite their efforts, the group of frogs at the top of the pit were still saying that they should just give up that they would never make it out. Eventually, one of the frogs took heed to what the others were saying and he gave up, falling down to his death. The other frog continued to jump as hard as he could. Again, the crowd of frogs yelled at him to stop the pain and just die. He jumped even harder and finally made it out. When he got out, the other frog said, Did you not hear us? The frog explained to them that he was deaf. He thought they were encouraging him the entire time. Moral, people's words can have a big effect on others' lives. Think about what you say before it comes out of your mouth. 
It might just be the difference between life and death. The fourth story is about the obstacle in our path, opportunity. In ancient times, a king had a boulder placed on a roadway. He then hid himself and watched to see if anyone would move the boulder out of the way. Some of the king's wealthiest merchants and courtiers came by and simply walked around it. Many people loudly blamed the king for not keeping the roads clear, but none of them did anything about getting the stone out of the way. A peasant then came along carrying a load of vegetables. Upon approaching the boulder, the peasant laid down his burden and tried to push the stone out of the road. After much pushing and straining, he finally succeeded. After the peasant went back to pick up his vegetables, he noticed a purse lying in the road where the boulder had been. The purse contained many gold coins and a note from the king explaining that the gold was for the person who removed the boulder from the roadway. Moral. Every obstacle we come across in life gives us an opportunity to improve our circumstances. And whilst the lazy complain, the others are creating opportunities through their kind heart and willingness to get things done. The fifth story is about a pound of butter. There was a farmer who sold a pound of butter to a baker. One day the baker decided to weigh the butter to see if he was getting the right amount, which he wasn't. Angry about this, he took the farmer to court. The judge asked the farmer if he was using any measure to weight the butter. The farmer replied, Honor, I am primitive. I don't have a proper measure, but I do have a scale. The judge asked, Then how do you weigh the butter? The farmer replied, Your honor, long before the baker started buying butter from me, I have been buying a pound loaf of bread from him. Every day when the baker brings the bread, I put it on the scale and give him the same weight in butter. If anyone is to be blamed, it is the baker. Moral, in life you get what you give. Don't try and cheat others. Let me tell you another bonus story about. The butterfly struggles. A man found a cocoon of a butterfly. One day a small opening appeared. He sat and watched the butterfly for several hours as it struggled to force its body through that little hole. Until it suddenly stopped making any progress and looked like it was stuck. So the man decided to help the butterfly. He took a pair of scissors and snipped off the remaining bit of the cocoon. The butterfly then emerged easily, although it had a swollen body and small, shriveled wings. The man didn't think anything of it and sat there waiting for the wings to enlarge to support the butterfly. But that didn't happen. The butterfly spent the rest of its life unable to fly, crawling around with tiny wings and a swollen body. Despite the kind heart of the man, he didn't understand that the restricting cocoon and the struggle needed by the butterfly to get itself through the small opening were God's way of forcing fluid from the body of the butterfly into its wings to prepare itself for flying once it was out of the cocoon. Moral our struggles in life develop our strengths. Without struggles, we never grow and never get stronger. So it's important for us to tackle challenges on our own and not be relying on help from others. Thank you for your time.